When Fabrizio Bustos returned to Long Island after 10 years in the Army and three tours in Iraq, his transition back to civilian life was like that of many other veterans, filled with unknowns. I did what most people do is uh, to, to go straight into, you know, college, basically, uh, which helped uh, kind of stabilize my, uh, my transition a little bit better. After four months of unemployment, Bustos received a newspaper clipping about a construction training program called Vets Build. You know, my mother-in-law, she handed it to me, and she was like, do this, you know? One of those, like, do this, right? The program is one of several veteran support initiatives run by the United Way of Long Island. Veterans receive free, hands-on training in green construction. The program's goal is to help veterans transition into careers in high-demand green construction industries, like weatherization or solar energy. For Bustos, Vets Build became a pathway to a career, and ultimately a career itself. That led to a, uh, a paid internship, to being the IT manager at United Way, and now to become the VETSBO director. With more than 135,000 returned service members, Long Island is home to one of the largest populations of veterans in New York State. And according to the Vets Build website, one out of five veterans on Long Island struggles to find a career path. But Vets Build can be more than job training. It's also an opportunity for participating veterans to regain a sense of camaraderie with fellow trainees. It's a Monday through Friday type of scenario. So they see each other every day, they talk to each other every day, they check up on each other every day and it creates a, uh, like a mutual bond. The work starts in the classroom and moves out into the field where trainees help build houses while also building networks of prospective employers in the industry. Nick and Lee Auletta are veterans and co-chairs for the local Mission United Council, an initiative that aims to support veterans in their transition home. The way we look at it is it's not the charitable thing to do to hire veterans, but it's actually the smart thing to do for here on Long Island. These employers have seen that. They see how dependable, flexible, motivated uh, the veterans coming out of the program are. When finished, this house in Suffolk County will be one of the country's first zero energy ready homes, meaning the house will produce as much energy as it consumes. It will also be a home for veterans and their families. One of our partner agencies is United Veterans Beacon House. Uh, and they've done an amazing job in terms of finding veterans not only for the training aspect but also for veterans that are going to be living in the homes. With support from partners like United Veterans Beacon House, Long Island veterans can receive case management, housing, and support services. President Frank Amalfitano says civilians are a big part of creating this supportive environment. Without the civilians, we couldn't have the support that we have for the veterans. And the civilians are very, uh, you know, very under-recognized. Yeah, patriots. Being a part of this is knowing that in a few years I'll be able to drive by here and look and know that, you know, there's veterans here who, you know, without this house may not have a place to live.